I sure do like me some white wine. Never had this before, but my coworker gave it to me. And because we gonna talk about love, I felt like wine would be the perfect drink to watch this video. So if y'all are over the age of 21, go ahead and drink with me, y'all. We gonna make this a little romantic, okay? Family, I watch your videos and I like you cause you're brutally honest and I appreciate you reacting to that video as well. I have a series I just started. I hate that YouTube couples promote the fairy tale shit and don't incorporate everything that comes with it. Can you watch and give me a chance and give me some brutally honest feedback, good or bad? It's the only way I can get better. Well, Tamika, <laughs> I definitely will. Now, I don't know if you guys remember Tamika or not. She was one of the first YouTubers to actually make a video on domestic violence when it came to Queen Nyjah and Chris Sales. You know, Clarence reacted to her video, Chris reacted to her video, including myself. So that was her that messaged me on Instagram and you know what? I'm kind of curious to know what she's talking about when she talks about her series. I'm gonna go ahead and react to her first episode. Her channel's name is called Shamika and Tamika TV. And her link is actually gonna be in the bio below. So her series is called L Street. I don't know exactly what it's about about. She just gave me a general uh, review on it. But I'm gonna go ahead and react to the first video. Are y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. When people describe love, they have a tendency to mention all the good things. The way your heart speed up when you see that person. The butterflies you get in the pit of your stomach. But they rarely mention the other side of love. The lows, mm. the pains, mm. the tears, mm. the heartbreaks. You can't have one without the other. I gotta stop it right there. I gotta take me a little sip because she's speaking truth right now. I am gonna be honest when I watch this video. So I'm gonna say something positive right now from what I see. I like this little vibe you guys got going so far. It reminds me of like a, like a 90s movie. When you have the narrator speaking while a scene is happening. I love that. I've always loved those kind of movies. So right now, girl, I'm liking this little episode, okay? Love is all of those things. When people look at our relationship, they have a tendency to think that we're picture perfect. Mm. <laughs> it hasn't always been that way. Love is navigating and persevering through those hard times. Facts. And that's what we are. We're all of that. Heartbreak, tears, pain, butterflies, intensive sex. Mm. That's what we are. That's what love is. <laughs> Shut up, okay. That intro was great, girl. I, everything you said is factual. People have a problem with what I say when I when I watch YouTube couples. They automatically believe that I'm against their relationship and that's not it at all. I always point out the negatives in a video. The reactions to each other may be negative sometimes and I'm gonna point them out because there's no perfect couple. You should never look at a couple and think goals. Never. Because what works for them may not work for you. They look happy, right? But that happiness is in front of your face. Behind closed doors, who the fuck knows what goes down? That's okay too. The negative's gonna happen. You have to ride or die for your partner, to the good and the bad. But when it's really bad, and when I'm talking about abusive in any form, that's when it's time to dip. That means that relationship ain't good. But it's okay to argue. It's okay to, to bicker sometimes. It's okay to complain about certain things. But that's when communication plays a big part. And love has to be strong enough for you to want to put an effort to fight for that love. All right, I know I already talked a little bit more, a little bit too much before this intro. It's only 49 seconds. I'm sorry, but girl, I like what you're saying. That's why I like Tamika, you know? Like, I like the things My she says. My name is Tamika, but people call me too. I got that nickname because I always been small as hell. But back in the day, a while ago, I was a hot fucking mess. I carry so much baggage around. Now when I look back at it, it's amazing that I used to be able to support the weight of it all. Mm. Life that is. I didn't give nobody a chance. I was enthralled in one night stands and a lot of meaningless relationships. I didn't understand what love was. I really didn't give a fuck to know what it was, to be honest. I had a chip on my shoulder. That was until I met Shamika. Shamika. And that's what happens with life in general. Everyone experiences trauma 
and I know a little bit of her story from past videos. And when you experience those type of traumas, sometimes it's hard to find love or even want love or even to accept love. I get where she's coming from. Changed it all. When I first met Tamika, I honestly was not looking to be in any type of relationship at all. I had just gotten out of a long relationship. Well, something I thought was a relationship, but I was being cheated on the whole time. But that's a whole nother story. Mm. But yes, when I first met Tamika, it was like, I, I loved her energy, her company, but I know she was going through a lot, mm. being in a shelter. I had just moved up here. Uh, from Atlanta, I had just lost my grandmother, and I moved up here for one of the weirdest relationships ever. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't even, I can't even describe the torment that I went into in like just a short amount of time. Anyway, this girl, she cheated on me so dirty, mm. and I was out here with no family. You know what I'm saying? So Damn. I was forced to go into a, a, a shelter. Mm. So I wasn't finna stay with nobody who was cheating on me. It was kind of hard for us. Okay, I'm gonna stop this right here because. I'm gonna actually comment on the way you're actually making this video and the edits. I love this sit down on the couch, let me talk to my followers on my experience. Because you're, you're telling us your story, but you're making it entertaining, girl. So you and your girlfriend, you guys did a good job with this episode, as of right now. You're not making it boring. Y'all could have just sat down the whole time and just talked about it. But nah, y'all want to make a series on it. I'm loving it. Uh, spend as much time because there was like a curfew and it was hard when we really first started talking but I think that's what made our bond so strong because it's like we had a lot of obstacles in the beginning but we were still strong enough to work through those obstacles. I had like a chip on my shoulder when it came down to women. I just didn't want to trust nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Period. It was just like I couldn't stand females at the time. You know what I mean? And then it was like, I was at a time where I was trying to rebuild my soul in a brand new city where I didn't know absolutely nobody. You know what I mean? And then I couldn't even really talk to my family about the situation because they didn't like the girl I was moving up here for in the first place. That's the thing about trust. Trust can really hold you back from being loved. When you build that wall and you don't want to let anybody in, it's preventing you from actually experiencing the love that you deserve. You're, you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your heart. You don't want to hurt again if you don't have to. You can be the most trustworthy person in this world, but if I'm not able to trust at that given moment, there's no way in hell that I can trust you. So it all depends on Tamika at this point, if she decides to open up or not. Yo, it's 20 minutes to the new year. And I tell you this right here, right now. 2021, gonna be better than 2020. Mm. Oh, she is little. <laughs> Tamika, you little girl. You weren't lying. How short are you? L let me know, girl. I know you're gonna comment below on this video. I know you're going to. So comment below and let me know how short you are. You gotta be better. We lost too many people. You know what I'm saying or whatever. And it was just, it's crazy. I think it was the first time where this whole world was out of the truck. Girl, and 2021 just started. And look what the fuck they doing. These rednecks are ambushing the Capitol. It ain't over yet. Hold on, let me drink with you, girl. Baby Bubba. Man, this will make how many years coming to New Year's with me? How many years? Ten. Ten years, girl. Damn. Congratulations, ladies. Cause ten years was ten years of love, passion, communication, hurt, arguing, bickering, jealousy. Ten years, and y'all are still together. Congratulations. Hey. You still love me? Of course. You be want to keep my ass up? Hey. <laughs> It happens. Man, 2021, man. I hope we have more good health. I hope good we don't wealth. Good mm. wealth. Mm. Good wealth. Come on, wealth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because this year right here drove me crazy. It was the first time where I ever was unemployed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Less than a half of freaking the world. But I'm just saying, it made the me pandemic, the fucked it up. I feel terrible, Charlotte. 
And I thank God that I have never been unemployed, and especially during these times, because I do work at a hospital. So thankfully, I was blessed and taken care of during these moments and times. I was able to still have an income to support myself. So, and I feel for those who had to struggle during these times. Uh, Lee, I need a break. 2021 has got to be different. It has to be. It has to be, girl. 2021 gonna be different. Better way. I'm not finna get to it. Mm. But no map at all. No map. Right. I'm just finna go out here and wait. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Think of the way. It's amazing, like how everything went with me and Shamika, because it was definitely not something that I was expecting. Um, I don't think I was even expecting a relationship or anything. It was just really dope to have her friendship. But then slowly things start to like evolve and I start to look at her in a different light. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Here she is being a good friend to me, but I see really good qualifications in her as well. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about how be like. being in a relationship at the time with Tamika. So sexual things, like, <laughs> it, I, it wasn't in my mind. I almost pulled out the whole situation because like, you know, she made me wait so long for the cheeks. You know what I'm saying? And here I was, I was... How long is long, though? You forgot to tell us that information, girl. Was it two weeks? Was it a month? Was it a few months? Was it a year? How long was too long? I was on ice, you feel know what I'm saying? And I was courting her. Okay. Now, y'all youngest, they don't know what courting means. I do. Explain. I'm still courting, okay? I'm still courting! I was pulling out all the stops. You know what I mean? But she just wouldn't give me that. You know what I mean? And it was pissing me off. It took a while for us to to that point, but... But it's worth the wait if you see those qualities in her. I'm glad it did, though. Like, I'm glad that we took our time and it wasn't like, you know, within the first couple of weeks or so because things can change. Like, that can be the main focus for people, you know, after they mm -hmm. get a slice of the pie. So, they hit it and quit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted to see if she really wanted to be with me and if this was really like something that was gonna last and something that was real. We should have, we, we forgot to put the, the greens and the black eyed peas on that stove, Shelly. We need good wealth. What the, I forget what the black eyed peas stand for. What the black eyed peas stand for? I know the, green, the greens is money. Black eyed peas is for like, like health, health and stuff, right? I need to put a whole crock pot. Black eyed peas in my shirt. Yeah. No cap. I, I know y'all are high at this moment. <laughs> Don't lie to me. At this moment, moment while y'all are filming, y'all either drank ahead of time or got high. <laughs> I see it. I see it. A whole bunch. There ain't nothing wrong with I this. Wanna, I want to be able to spend many more New Year's with you. I do too. Man. So the health and all of that got to make sure it's done. Mm. Yes, I can get on your nerves. That's what I'm here for. What? Yeah. Who yeah. Says that? Me. I say that. Mm, I'm with you. you know what I mean? I, I want to be like romantic. That too. Things, Both. That too. You know. Both. That too. All of those things. But, but I, get on my nerves? Mm -hmm. I have to be able to do mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make you stronger. If I was a perfect person. Right. Um, we all have. We're, none of us are perfect. There's going to be times that you don't like me. There's gonna be times that you're gonna be annoyed by me. There's gonna be times where you don't even wanna talk or see me. But that's because I'm not perfect. But so aren't you. And that's the thing about love though. You have to accept each other's flaws and try to work either on it or work around it. But you have to love the person for who they are. The moving in situation was really like something that I didn't even know I was going to do. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was happy that I had a new start. I left the shelter. You know what I'm saying? I was making really good money or whatever. And I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Things were finally starting to go up. You know what I mean? So like when I met her, it was just like she she fit in the plan. You know what I'm saying? Like it was not something I was looking for, but she just fit in the plan. That and I and when she says plan, I take it personally as in God's plan. We all want something in life, especially in a partner, but we don't get what we want. God gives us what we need. And it doesn't have to be permanent, it could be temporary. But whichever one it is, it's meant to be there in your life to teach you a lesson, to help you become a better person, to help you become stronger. And when I say stronger, I mean dealing with struggles. So, so I get the plan. I, when I first got the keys, or when she first gave me the keys, I was kind of like, 
confused at first. I was like, what are these keys to? Like, what are these for? But when she told me that it was like to her spot, I was like kind of Okay. Shocked. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, I'll come over and, you know, <laughs> visit, stop by every now and then. But she was like, no, I want you to like move in, like. Okay. Like, Spit that game, girl. A step further, Spit that just, game. Like, really shocked that I was She didn't even ask her, okay? She said, I got the keys. You gonna come in with me or not? Are we gonna build together or what? Let me know, okay? Like, our relationship was going to the next level, but I was ready, though, too, at What's the up? same time. But I was, like, more so shocked. It's like, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Skip, get your drink, Skip. Get your drink, get your drink. Where we at? 10. Where we at? It's 12. 12. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, my best <laughs> And I got my midnight kiss, okay? I got mine. Nah. Give me another one. That was juicy. Mm -hmm. Take a shot. Street is. Yeah. And basically, Let me know. it's just love. You know what I mean? We use it as a symbolic uh, form, I guess you could say. Bitch. I don't know who's coming up with these ideas. I've seen the views on these episodes, and you only have two episodes while I'm filming this. It needs to be way more than that. Way more than that. I wish people would notice you guys more and recognize your hard work because this is creative. You guys are creators. L Street, love. They're speaking the truth, not the facade of love. Y'all need to be recognized a little bit more. Y'all need to be known. And I'm here willing to help y'all be recognized. I'm a small ass YouTuber, okay? You guys have a lot more following than I do. But the more people that react to your videos, the better. So I'm down to react to your episodes. I'm loving this first episode. You know what I mean? Pretty much just the past we take the detours we take, yada, yada, yada. Me and my wife was actually watching a lot of YouTube. Oh, so she ain't your girlfriend. Y'all are married. Okay. Especially at the Vlogmas. And we wanted to be able to give you guys some ongoing content. What we like was looking at it, we were seeing that it's like people always seem to highlight the good parts of the relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they never really want to indulge in the things that go on behind the camera. Right. And that's something we want to be able to bring to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes all of those components to I'm make stop. it work. You know what I mean? So one And that's why YouTube ain't gonna fuck you guys up. YouTube is not gonna fuck you guys up because you guys are willing to be open to show everything. So there's no pressure to pretend or to fake the funk. And this is why your marriage is gonna last longer than most YouTubers. We're not gonna do is gonna pretend for the camera. Mm. We're not gonna do the cat. Good. Not at all. Good. And, I mean, I much. couldn't do it though. I couldn't do it though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'll be one of those pretenders. That's why my wife and I stopped vlogging. We vlogged for two years. I decided to stop doing that because I didn't want to pretend anymore. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw where it was going and I wasn't liking it. So I had to stop it. I still did not want to show the ugly to the public. Because for me, it's behind closed doors. But if you guys are willing to show it, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna, it's not gonna impact or affect your life together if y'all don't allow it. Like to said, L Street is pretty much the good, bad, and the ugly of S&T. So that's love, and that's, this is S&T's love story. So that's pretty much what this is focusing around and what this is gonna be about. So we hope that you guys stay tuned stay tuned for part two and we hope that you guys enjoyed the first episode i did um, and we i did are excited to introduce this new concept to you guys um especially you know being something that's new to youtube so we hope right. you guys really enjoy it and i did. on another note we're still going to always keep our other calendar you know we're saying we're going to be doing reactions in our own vlogging as well but this will be something that you guys can see every day i mean once a week, once a week. um yeah. or whatever and i'm okay. going to be honest with you some things are going to be very raw you know what i mean but it's going to be some things that you can be able to feel you know mm. what i mean because a lot of us just can't relate to all of like the the, the good shit. Okay? Exactly. So all all exactly. For real. <laughs> Look at this. Their video is 12 minutes long. Look at my video. It was longer because I could relate. 
so I had a lot more to say. Do you see why I like to react to real shit rather than the fake shit? I have a lot more to say. And it, like I said earlier, it just takes all of those things to make love work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I did, girl. Please look out for episode part two that will be mm. dropping on Monday at okay. 8 o'clock. Okay. Every Monday at 8 o'clock, you can bet your bottom dollar that L Street will be on your YouTube notification. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Pop Pastor! Happy New Year, ladies. Wow. Keep that love strong. Cheers. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, you wanna give us a little preview of episode two? Let's go. All I know is that I wasn't for the bullshit. Like, I packed my things and I was ready to go. Like, period. I don't have time for the bull, the games. None of that. Like, I was just over it. I was ready to go. Every time I think about that day, it drives me crazy. Um, it was the first time that I didn't want somebody to leave me, ever. Woo! It, it scared me half That's day. love. That's love. Do something different. Ladies, you guys got me captivated. Tamika, you only asked me to watch your videos and to tell you my honest opinion. I was gonna just do that. But sometimes when I react to a video, I like to skim through parts just to see if it's good enough for me to react to. I saw the first five seconds and then I skimmed through halfway and I was like, oh, uh-uh, I ain't gonna watch no more. This is something that I need to react to. And I'm glad I did. Good job, y'all. I think you guys got this shit right. So I'm gonna go ahead and react to episode two. I ain't lying. Look out for the video. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this one. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.